I'm Bob and Roberta Smith. I'm an artist. I'm interested in how art can be a force for change and how creativity is fundamental for all of our lives. After the First World War, people began to realise just how important creativity was, especially for young people. Earlier this year, I went to the Yorkshire Sculpture Park where there is an amazing archive showing the work of Franz Chiswick. Chiswick was a man who founded something called the Child Art Movement. <laughs> wow. And the Child Art Movement encouraged all children of all ages to make art and be creative. He's definitely saying it was not about creating artists, it was about enabling people to fulfil their potential as creative human beings. So after the destruction of the First World War, were they trying to say that creativity was the response somehow? I think they probably always believed that creativity was an innate and wonderful um, human attribute that we needed to um, nurture, mm. definitely. So this idea of creativity being important to us as human beings seemed to become very popular after the First World War, not only for artists, but for everyone. We made some films to show how some creative people work. They were all asked to make a work of art inspired by the First World War by an organisation called 1480 Now. Creativity is not easy to describe. It's lots of different things to lots of different people. You might be a musician who needs to sit in a solitary room, rather like I do. I'm a painter, I need to be alone in my studio to make my art. Or you might be somebody who likes to collaborate with other people, and we might call that an ensemble activity. Or you might be the kind of person who works and develops a process from something very particular, and it becomes incredibly complex and beautiful. It's about feeling confident. It's about feeling confident to say things, to develop opinions, to be able to contribute to the world. Your process doesn't have to be all of these things, but it will definitely be some of them. War has a long relationship with art. There are war artists, war poets and war photographers. But what about peace? What about peace sculptors? What about peace poets? I am fascinated by what peace means to artists. Watch the Make Art Not War films to find out more. But now it's your turn. I want to find out what peace means to you.